over 4.6 billion years ago. The first ancestral race, the first species that had extraterrestrial intelligence, lived on an unknown world in the Milky Way galaxy. However, they faced a problem. Their world faced immediate destruction. Knowing there was no hope, they made sure others like them would exist. Seven progenitor or parent beings called the Seeds of Life as well as the Dead Sea Scrolls were created. Each invested with the soul of a first ancestral race individual and placed within a carrier vessel known as a moon along with a lance of Longinus were sent out into the galaxy. However, they planned it so that the Seeds of Life containing the Fruit of Life and those containing the Fruit of Knowledge would never land simultaneously on one planet. The beings making up the first ancestral race then became one and boarded one of the seven carriers, making humans, otherwise known as Lilith, and Adam's children, the angels, reincarnated members of the first ancestral race. A few billion years later, Adam, contained within the white moon, was the first seed to land on the planet known as Earth. However, before Adam-based life could be established, Lilith's black moon collided violently into the Earth, causing the event now known today as First Impact. It is theorized that Lilith's lance of Longinus it will cause the event known as First Impact. Since both seeds were never meant to land on the same world, Adam was put into suspended animation by his own lance of Longinus. Lilith then released LCL into the ocean of resulting in the creation of life forms that would evolve over the course of billions of years. Four billion years later, the Dead Sea Scrolls were discovered in a cave by the Dead Sea. Unknown to the public, the secret Dead Sea Scrolls are discovered with them. They are then acquired by the mysterious Thale organization. The scrolls speak of the coming of monsters known as angels the mechanical monstrosity known as the Evangelion, and a mysterious event known as Third Impact. A few years later, in the year 1956, Kojo Fanyuki is born. Eleven years later, in the year 1957, Gendo Rukabongi is born. A year later, in 1977, a member of the mysterious Thale organization had a child, a daughter, by the name of Yui Ikari. Later, in June of 1985, Ryoji Kaji will be born, followed by Riko Akagi in November. In December of 1986, Misato Kasaragi is born. In July of 1991, Maya Ibuki is born. In the year 1999, Yui Ikari begins attending Kyoto University, where she meets Professor Kozu Fanyuki. Following this meeting, Fanyuki would then meet Gendo Rukabongi. The autumn of that year, Yui Hikari and Gendo Rukabongi began dating. At some point between this point in time and the year 2002, Gendo Rukabongi and Yui Hikari marry and Gendo changes his last name to Hikari. In the year 2000, the Kasturagi expedition departs to Antarctica to investigate Adam, who was buried in the White Moon. On September 12th of that year, Gendo Ikari leaves the Kasaragi research team and returns to Japan, taking all of the research that they had gathered with him, knowing full well what the next day's experiment with Adam will result in. The following day, on the 13th of September in the year 2000, the Kasaragi team attempts a contact experiment with the first angel Adam and cause the event known as Second Impact. Dr. Kasaragi will then die protecting his daughter Misato Kasaragi from the dangers of Second Impact. Later, due to a refugee incident, nuclear war breaks out between the countries of India and Pakistan. On the 20th of December, the city of Tokyo is destroyed by a nuclear bomb. The United Nations went on to release a statement that Second Impact was caused by a meteorite. In the year 2001, on the 14th of February, the Valentine Treaty is signed, ending the wars that followed the Second Impact. A few months later, Shinji Akari is born to Yui and Gendo Akari. In the September of that year, Kensuke Ida is born. Later, on December 4th, Asuka Langley Soryu is born, followed by Toji Tsutahara being born on the 26th. In the year 2002, the United Nations sends an investigative team to Antarctica to uncover the truth behind the event known as Second Impact, 
the team included Gendo Hikari and Kozu Fanyuki. Gendo Hikari's wife, Yui Hikari, stayed behind in order to watch their newborn son, Jinji Hikari. Later that year, on February 18th, Hikari Horaki is born. At an unknown point in time, the organization known as Girin was founded. In the year 2003, Project E was put into motion, and the construction of the Evangelion units began. However, Kozo Fanyuki was able to figure out that Gendo Hikari was fully aware of the impending second impact due to the contact experiment with Adam raging him. He confronts Gendo Hikari and threatens to expose the truth about second impact to the media, where Gendo Hikari is able to persuade him to instead join Giren. The same year, Naoko Akagi began the development of a supercomputer system that would go on to be known as the Magic. The Japanese Strategic Self-Defense Force is also formed in response to the outbreak of wars between China and Vietnam. The following year, in 2004, Yui Hikari engages in a contact experiment with Evangelion Unit 1 and is absorbed into the Eva. After the loss of Yui Hikari, Gendo Hikari sends his son Shinji away to live with his teacher. At this point in time, Gendo Hikari sets his sights on the Human Instrumentality Project as a method to reuniting with his wife Yui. At an unknown period of time between the years of 2003 and 2005, Kyoku Zeppelin Soryu attempts to contact the sperm with Evangelion Unit 2 and loses part of her soul, leaving her soulless body behind, unlike Yui Hikari, who was completely absorbed into Evangelion Unit 1. No one is aware of when this contact experiment took place, but it likely took place after Yui Hikari's disappearance inside of Unit 1. In the year 2005, Asuka Langley Soryu is the Selected as an Evangelion pilot, and it was a very short period of time later, Hyoku Zeppelin Soryu died by suicide, having killed herself and a small doll she used to replace her daughter Asuka after she lost her soul in her contact experiment. A short period of time later, Asuka Langley Soryu's father remarries. In the same year, Misato Kasuragi begins attending college in Tokyo too, where she meets Dr. Risko Akagi. While there, she entered a relationship with one Ryoji. Kaji. That same year, the Japanese government also approved the building of a new capital in Fuji Higone. The construction of the city known as Tokyo 3 also began. In the year 2007, UN headquarters is relocated to Japan in the city of Tokyo 2. That same year, Misato Kasaragi ends her relationship with Ryoji Kaji. In the year 2008, the design and planning portion of the creation of the Magi supercomputer is completed and the construction for them begins. Go Akagi graduates from university in Tokyo 2 and joins Giren to work under her mother. Here she learns of her mother's affair with the man known as Gendo Hikari. In the year 2009, Misato Kasuragi and Ryoji Kaji join Giren, and at some unknown point in time, Misato Kasuragi would be relocated to Germany, where she would be the caretaker of Asuka Langley Storyu for an unknown period of time. In the year 2010, the first Rayayanami clone is publicly encountered when Gendo Hikari introduces her to Naoko and Risko Akagi. The Magi supercomputer system is finally completed. The night upon its completion, Naoko Akagi kills Rei-1 when Rei-1 reveals to her that Gendo does not truly love her and is only manipulating her. Then, for reasons nobody quite knows, she kills herself by throwing herself onto her own creation. After her death, Sele, the mysterious organization behind Girin, banned Jiren and reorganizes all of its personnel and all of its assets into a new organization known as NERV. Two years later, in the year 2012, Shinji Hikari and his father Gendo Hikari reunite for the first time in eight years and they visit the grave of his mother and Gendo's wife, Yui Hikari. It will be a long time before Shinji sees his father again. In the year 2014, Rayanami 2 transferred into Tokyo Street High School, joining the class of students in 7th grade. Around this same time, prodigy child Asuka Langley Storyu and pilot of Evangelion Unit 2 graduates from college. At an unknown point in time, the soul of the first Rayayanami clone was placed inside Evangelion Unit Zero. In the year 2015, Rei Ayanami would undergo a test where she would attempt to utilize Evangelion Unit Zero and be severely injured. A short time later, a boy by the name of Shinji Akari arrived in Tokyo 3. I arrived in Tokyo 3 in late August. I don't remember exactly when, 
but I had been summoned by my father with a note simply reading come. He honestly didn't really want me for what I would later find out, but I was picked up by a woman named Misato Kasaragi, who would take me to the headquarters of the organization known as NERV, where I would be told by my father that he had called me so I could pilot an Evangelion, known as Evangelion Unit 1, due to Ray Ayanami's injuries, causing her to be unable to do battle with the first angel. If I did not pilot Evangelion Unit 1, Ray Ayanami would be forced to pilot it and likely die in battle, which I knew would happen, so I had no other choice but to agree and become an Evangelion pilot. I hated piloting Ava. It was known by nerve that there would be a total of 17 angels. Shinji Akari and Rei Ayanami fought alongside one another as they attempted to stop the angel from initiating third impact. Rei Ayanami and Shinji Akari working together were able to hold off and defeat the first five angels by themselves. However, at some point around the 8th of September, the second child, Asuka Langley Soryu, arrived in Japan. To be perfectly honest with you, I had the displeasure of meeting the third child and his imbecile friends on the over the rainbow as they came along with Misato to meet up with me on my way to Japan. It was actually quite annoying if they're all complete idiots. But for some reason, the fifth angel actually arrived and attacked us while we were trying to get back to Japan. And the third child didn't have his Ava with him. So I luckily got to show him what a real Evangelion pilot is like and I single-handedly defeated the sixth angel with my amazing Evangelion Unit 2. The world's first real Evangelion. That same day, Asuka Langley Soryu arrived in Japan and Ryoji Kaji delivered a small embryo of Adam to Gendo Ikari. Soon after the arrival of the second child, Asuka Langley Soryu, the seventh angel attack. Second child, Asuka Langley Soryu, and the third child, Stinji Ikari, engaged the angel in combat and suffered a humiliating public defeat. Humiliated at their public defeat and the laughing stock they become around the world, Nerve forces the two young children to undergo intense training in order to learn to fight in perfect synchronization. The angel, having been forced into some form of hibernation by the UN forces, is defeated by the two children one week later. At some point in the near future, Gendo Akari and Kozo Fanyuki recover the Lance of Longinus from Antarctica. Soon after, Evangelion Unit 4 is destroyed during a test of its own S2 engine in NERD's second branch in the United States of America. In panic, the United States Congress decides to send the surviving Evangelion Unit 3 to Japan immediately. Around the time of its arrival, a young boy and classmate of Shinji Akari and Asuka Langley Soryu named Toji Suzuhara is selected as the fourth child and pilot of Evangelion Unit 3. However, while Unit 3 was being transported to Japan, it was infected by the 13th Angel. Toji Suzuhara is testing out the Evangelion, it goes berserk and engages in combat with Evangelion the 0, 1, and 2. The Angel infused Evangelion Unit 3, defeats Unit 0 and 2 with E. Third child, Shinji Akari, refuses to engage in combat with the enemy due to a human being being inside of the Eva, and Gendo Akari activates a device known as the Dummy Plug, allowing a computer system to control the Evangelion. The Dummy Plug computer system is based on the souls of other Rei Ayanami clones. Falling Angel would be one of the most significant of them all. The 14th Angel easily defeats Unit 0 and Unit 2 and is defeated by Evangelion Unit 1. However, Evangelion Unit 1 eats that Angel's S2 engine and Shinji Akari is absorbed into Evangelion Unit 1's core. 30 days later, with the help of his mother Yui Akari, Shinji Akari is able to leave the core of Unit 1. On this same time, Ryoji Kaji is killed by an unknown party. Other than death is unknown, 
but many people speculate it has something to do with the mysterious Sele organization. Though that is only speculation. There are many people that want to agree OG Kaji dead, so we will never be able to say for sure. During the battle with the 15th Angel, Asuka Lingley's story of the second child would have her mind violated and opened up and forced to relive all her most painful memories, starting her on a downward spiral into depression and possible suicide. With Asuka Langley Suryu, the second child, barely able to achieve synchronization in Pilot Evangelion Unit 2, the first child, Red Eye and Ami, is killed in battle with the 15th Angel. Gendo Wakari would then go on to activate the third Red Eye and Ami clone. In anger and jealousy, much like her mother, Riko Akagi destroys the dummy plug system and all the other clones of Bray Ayanami. Much time had passed since the arrival of the second child, and now the month of December is coming to an end when the fifth child arrives. The fifth child, a boy named Karu Nagashi, befriends Jinji Hikari. However, Karu is actually the 17th angel taking on the form of a human, or as the angels refer to them, Lilith, an obvious reference to their creator, Lilith. When the 17th angel made his move a day later, he would be stopped and killed by Shinji Akari. Asuka Langley Storyu is found by members of NERV, having attempted suicide due to her depression caused by her battle with the angel. She was put into a hospital ward and put into a man-induced coma in order to recover. With the Raya and Ami he knew dead, Asuka Langley Storyu in a coma, and Misato Katsuragi recovering from the death of her boyfriend Ryoji Kaji, Shinji Akari is left to deal with the death of Karu by himself. Following these events, on the 31st of December 2015, Sele turns on Nerve, tricking and convincing the Japanese government that Nerve is attempting to start Third Impact. The Japanese Prime Minister sends the Japanese Strategic Defense Force to invade Nerve Q, leaving no survivors and kill the Evangelion pilot. Sato Kastaragi attempts to get Shinji Akari to the Evangelion Cajun so he can pilot Unit 1 and attempt to aid Asuka Langley Storyu, the second child who was awoken in her battle against the Japanese Strategic Defense Force forces in his Evangelion. But while trying to protect him and get him to the Evangelion Cajun, she is killed. Rei Ayanami, who is not only a clone of Yui Akari, but also contains part of Lilith within her is infused with Gendo's atom embryo hand. Rei Ayanami betrays Gendo Akari and merging with Lilith, creating and starting Third Impact. The AT fields of every single human being across the planet break down, allowing all of humanity to merge into one single being. This event and merger of the souls is referred to as human instrumentality. Upon being given the option by Rei Ayanami, Shinji Akari rejects human instrumentality and ends third impact. Unknown amount of time later, the third child, Shinji Akari, and Asuka Langley story of the second child find themselves alone on a beach. Yui Akari somehow uses third impact to allow herself and Evangelion Unit 1 to become a sort of god and leave the planet. What follows is something nobody knows. Nobody knows what happens after Third Impact. Shinji Akari and Asuka Langley Story survived and lived on. However, what happened to them now is something nobody knows. Yui Akari believes that people will have the ability to return if they truly wish to. But we don't know how much truth there is to that statement. But one thing is for sure, Shinji Akari and Asuka Langley Story are alive. And as long as you are alive, you can always find happiness as long as you have the will to live.